survival for melanoma is good. 85 to 90% of all melanoma are cured by surgery alone. So if you had a suspicious mole, you'd come back to the clinic. If we deem that your mole is suspicious, we offer surgery in a house. All dermatologists in the clinic are doing their own uh, minor surgery. Of course, there are some exceptional circumstances when the melanoma may be on body side, which is very difficult, near the eye, between the toes. You know, there are obviously some exceptional side. But 99% of the time, the dermatologist seeing the patient and advising on the mole will do the surgery themselves. Uh, we would um, um, have a 30 minutes appointment where you have a bit of local anesthetic injected around the mole. The mole will be excised, there will be a few stitches. Stitches can be removed between one and two weeks after the surgery, depending where the mole was removed from. And then you get an answer from our pathology department within a week. Um, most melanoma we would diagnose would be cured by surgery. The patient would have follow-up to check that they don't develop a second one uh, or a basal cell carcinoma because unfortunately once you've had one skin cancer you're slightly more uh, uh, likely to get another one and but they will do well. So, so despite the fact that we want people to come early because we don't want delay, most patients will come early enough not to be have impact for the long term in terms of spreading elsewhere in the body. In a small minority of melanoma patients, they may be need to do CT scan, MRI, uh, refer to an oncologist or a surgeon for further surgery, but luckily for the majority of patients seen by dermatologists, uh, looking for spread of the melanoma elsewhere is not necessary because it's diagnosed extremely early and the melanoma will do well. most common skin cancer is not melanoma, it's called basal cell carcinoma. There are over 200,000, maybe 300,000 cases a year in the UK. They're affecting people slightly older than melanoma patient and they may present as a kind of little lump that's a bit pink, um, that may cross, they may bleed on occasion, grows very slowly uh, and uh, and, and they may present more on chronically sun exposed sites such as the face. We are less worried about them because they don't have the ability to spread outside of the skin and they grow much slower than melanoma. So in terms of emergency, need to deal with it quickly, it's less important than melanoma. But if the patient said, I've been waiting ages, I've got this crusty pinkish uh, lump on my skin which is not healing, the patient will not know whether this is a basal cell carcinoma or not. They will be anxious. So with a picture and a 48-hour advice, we will then say to the patient, we've identified this is not a melanoma. It is more likely to be the non-melanoma type, which are less dangerous, but we will still recommend surgery and we will advise them about when to come back and have it removed. But to already be told that you don't belong to the group of the dangerous one is quite nice. Other type of skin cancer is called squamous cell carcinoma. It's rarer than basal cell, but more common than melanoma. Uh, it is a uh, skin cancer of older individual, more in the mid 70s, early 70s, while melanoma, the mean age in uh, white skin population, is 55. Um, and it's usually easy to diagnose. It's usually quite a big lump that really sticks out of the skin very quickly lots of crust, uh, quite angry, and uh, so, so usually patients know things are not right and, and, and they, they will seek advice quite quickly. If you have a lot of patients waiting because they're waiting list in dermatology, uh, you know, they, they are waiting to see the doctor face to face and they're waiting for surgery and that bring delay but also bring a lot of anxiety because the patient wants to be seen, want to know whether their mole is worrying. And with this service, the triage is so quick, within 48 hours of the visit, and then the dermatologist has the power to say, I will prioritize your surgery. Imagine I see something that I'm suspicious of, I will say to the patient, we have some flexibility in our clinic, and, and we will prioritize your appointment to come and have a face-to-face -face appointment, 
and also discuss whether we can do, if necessary, the surgery on the same day.